The season three finale of The Mandalorian used a couple of my favorite classic filmmaking tricks. The first was the in-camera knife throw shot. So like these days, if you want a character to throw a knife on screen, they can just like add one in post. But in the old days, there were ways to make this movement look real using only in-camera effects and editing. To pull this off, your character holds a knife in their hand and then begins the motion of throwing it. Then the camera follows the motion of their arm and whip pans to the side. A whip pan is basically a very fast pan. The victim of the knife throw can then be in the same room with a prop knife already like in their chest, or sometimes a character can hold the knife in their hand to kind of raise it up to like their face or something. But the cool thing is you can also film the victim in a totally different place as long as you whip pan with the same motion to bring them into frame. The other classic technique is the iris shot which was originally created by literally opening or closing the iris of a camera. You mostly see this in animation to indicate the end of a cartoon but you also see it in movies like The Stink to indicate the two character story has ended but they've also found a lasting friendship since now they're the complete focus of the frame. One thing I love about The Mandalorian is how it always mixes and matches all these filmmaking tropes.